Hi and welcome to this TubeTech tutorial. We have a question from Rob who resides in Austin in Texas who has asked us to expand on our previous short video with regards to networking subnetting. So he wanted to know, okay, so we know how many hosts per network, but how do we know what networks exist within a subnet mask? So let's take a simple, again, class C network, and we're gonna subnet it down to, or up to 28 bits. So we're gonna borrow the four bits here, and we'll utilize the 192.168.1 network address range for those four borrowed bits. So the networks will always begin with the lowest denomination to the right of the borrowed bits, in this case, 16. So all the networks will go up in 16. So it'll be 16, 32, 48, 64, etc., etc. Because if we turn these three bits off and that one on, we get 16. If we turn those two bits off, leave this one on, turn that one off, we get 32 turn these two off, those two on, we get 48, and so on, and so on. And if we turn the first host bit on, we know that, for example, in a 16 range, our first available address is going to be 17. Our last available is always two below the next network, because the one below the next network is always the broadcast address for that network. So for the 16 network, we have 17 through to 30, with 31 being the broadcast and 32 being the next network. Hopefully, Rob, that has answered your question for you and gives you another quick method of understanding how you can subnet in your head. If you want the full video on subnetting, go to the Tube Tech Tutorials YouTube page and you'll find the video on there. If you like these short videos that we're doing, please subscribe to the channel because we're going to keep doing a few of these each day for you.